How rich is Sam Bankman Freed? Is Sam Bankman Freed broke? In this video, I'll be answering the questions How rich is Sam Bankman Freed? And is Sam Bankman Freed broke? If you're wondering how rich the American entrepreneur and founder is, then you've come to the right place. I'll be sharing how much Sam Bankman Freed is worth, how he became rich, and how he spent his money. I'll also be examining if he's actually broke or not, and also how he became broke, including all the interesting ways in which he lost money. So you have to stay to the end of this video because you don't want to miss out on all the juicy details. Before we go on, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel. While you're at it, click on the little notification icon so that the next time we post a video, you're the first to know. Let's get right into it. Sam Bankman Freed, also known by his initials SBF, is an American entrepreneur, investor, and founder, and he's also the former CEO of the cryptocurrency exchange FTX. SBF is one of the most popular names in the world of cryptocurrency, and only a few people are more popular. Until November 2022, SBF was a crypto wonderkind, becoming a billionaire at a very young age. That was until FTX, the crypto exchange company he founded, came crashing down. How did Sam Bankman Freed become rich? Sam Bankman Freed was born on the 6th of March, 1992, in Stanford, California, USA. From 2010 to 2014, SBF attended the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and he graduated with a bachelor's degree in physics and a minor in mathematics in 2014. SBF revealed that he decided to get into banking because of the lessons he learned in students' dorms while he was at the university. He wanted to make as much money as possible to give back to good causes. After graduating, he landed a high-paying job at the Wall Street trading firm Jane Street Capital, where he learned to trade stocks. After a while, he started paying attention to Bitcoin. Towards the end of 2017, when Bitcoin was leaping from $2,500 to nearly $20,000 a coin, SBF spotted an opportunity. He noticed the variations in the value of Bitcoin across different cryptocurrency exchanges and began to arbitrage. That is, he would buy Bitcoin from places selling it cheaply and then sell it to other places where it was trading for more. He could buy Bitcoin in the US and sell it in Japan for up to 30% more. Later that year, he quit his job and started a crypto trading firm called Alameda Research, together with Gary Wang, an engineer who worked in Google. By January 2018, they were moving up to $25 million worth of Bitcoin per day, and his team was making $1 million every day. Not too long after, SBF decided to start his crypto exchange as the major crypto exchanges were not equipped enough for professional traders. In May 2019, he started FTX. After its launch, FTX attracted major investments from Silicon Valley and Wall Street. Sam Bankman Freed sold a part of FTX to Binance for about $70 million. This was one of its earliest investors. Between 2019 and 2021, FTX grew to become the fourth largest cryptocurrency exchange for derivatives trading in the world. FTX had a daily trading volume of $10 to $15 billion, with an average of $11.5 billion. In early 2022, FTX was valued at $32 billion. Sam Bankman Freed became an official billionaire in 2021 after FTX grew to become a titan in the crypto world. Let's look at how much Sam Bankman Freed is worth. At the peak of his wealth, Sam Bankman Freed had a net worth of $26.5 billion and was ranked as the world's second wealthiest crypto billionaire by Forbes in April of 2022. By November 8, 2022, his $15.6 billion net worth dropped to $1 billion in a single day. This 92% decrease in his net worth is the biggest single-day drop in a billionaire's wealth that has ever happened. This drop came after news broke that his cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, needed a bailout. Sam Bankman Freed's 53% stake in FTX was worth $6.2 billion and another $7.4 billion of his fortune came from his crypto trading house, Alameda Research, according to Bloomberg. 
Sam Bankman-Fried held all his assets in these now bankrupt companies. By November 11th, FTX had filed for bankruptcy and the Wall Street Journal reported that SBF's net worth is now at zero. The next question is, is Sam Bankman-Fried broke? Oh yes, Sam Bankman-Fried has gone broke. Comparing his former almost $16 billion worth to having close to nothing left shows that the former crypto wonderkind is broke. Sure, you're wondering how this happened. Let's take a look at how SBF went broke. On November 2nd, 2022, Coindesk released a report based on a leaked Alameda balance sheet. According to the report, Alameda claimed that it had over $14.6 billion in assets at the end of June, but most of the asset was the FTT token issued by FTX. After this report, Carolyn Ellison, Alameda's CEO, tweeted that the balance sheet was not complete and that the company was doing well, though this did not convince the market as people began to withdraw from FTX. It didn't end there. I mentioned earlier that Binance was an early investor in FTX. Binance CEO Chang Peng Zhao initially invested in FTX in 2019, but later sold his controlling stake to Sam Bankman Fried in 2021. He was paid about $2.1 billion worth of FTT, that is, FTX's token. This is important because after Coindesk reported on the leaked balance sheet, it showed that SBF's crypto trading firm Alameda was heavily reliant on the value of FTT. So on November 6th, when Binance CEO made a tweet that read, due to recent revelations that have come to light, we have decided to liquidate any remaining FTT on our books. This sparked fear among investors that FTX may not be able to pay its debts. This announcement triggered mass withdrawals and FTX processed $4 billion of transactions that day, many times the normal amount processed per day. The mass withdrawal led to a 72% drop in FTT's price, and as the price fell, so did the value of FTX's assets that were tied to it. By November 7th, they had processed $6 billion, and by the 8th of November, FTX finances were in trouble. On Tuesday, November 8th, Binance made an official statement that they will be buying FTX to relieve the severe liquidity crunch in order to protect users. But on the 9th, Binance backed out of the acquisition as a result of corporate due diligence as well as news reports regarding mishandled funds and alleged U.S. agency investigations. According to the journal, FTX reportedly used billions in customers' money to fund risky bets made by Alameda. The Securities and Exchange Commission and Justice Department are carrying out investigations on FTX. On November 10th, the Bahamas securities regulator froze the assets of FTX Digital Markets, FTX's Bahamian subsidiary following news that SBF was sourcing up to $8 billion in capital to bail out the exchange. On the 11th of November, Sam Bankman-Fried resigned as CEO and FTX and Alameda filed for bankruptcy. Not too long after, FTX said it was the victim of, quote, unauthorized transactions. According to crypto analytics firm Elliptic, more than $370 million worth of crypto funds appeared to be missing. Also, according to the bankruptcy filings, FTX's estimation of their liabilities would make it the largest crypto-related bankruptcy ever filed. While Sam Bankman-Fried was a billionaire, he spent a lot of his money acquiring properties, donating a part of his money, and also wrote a lot of fat checks. Let's take a look at how Sam Bankman-Fried spent his money. Properties Bankman-Fried FTX spent hundreds of millions of dollars buying top-grade real estate across the Bahamas island New Providence. This includes offices, apartments, and vacation homes used by FTX's senior executives according to property records. According to the lawyer on FTX's bankruptcy team, FTX spent roughly $300 million buying houses in the Bahamas for senior executives. This included the $40 million penthouse shared by Bankman-Fried and some of his top deputies. 
He lived in a 600-acre oceanfront property with nine of his closest allies in New Providence, Bahamas, known as Albany. Media Investments SBF invested in a number of media companies according to Crunchbase. He invested in Semaphore, a news startup. He also provided seed funding to Trustless Media, a production company at the intersection of Web3 and television production. SBF also donated $5 million to investigate news outlet ProPublica, according to the AP. SBF also put a lot of money into several startups through FTX, Alameda Research, and as an angel investor, according to Crunchbase. This includes fintech companies like TrueFi and Chipper Cash, crypto platforms like Liquid Global, and blockchain companies like Faraway. SBF also spent a large sum on politics. He spent over $10 million backing Joe Biden's presidential campaign, according to Politico. In 2022 alone, he spent over $40 million on campaigns, according to Federal Election Committee filings. SBF had always believed in giving back to the world. It's no surprise that he was philanthropic. He made several philanthropic donations, starting from when he was working at James Street. He gave half of his money to so-called effective altruism causes and also animal welfare groups. He donated $50 million in 2021 to pandemic relief in India and anti-global warming initiatives. In the Bahamas, he donated $1.4 million worth of K95 masks and COVID-19 testing kits. Sam Bankman-Fried put a lot of money into sports deals and sponsorships. SBF's biggest sports sponsorship is acquiring naming rights for Miami Heat's arena. The original deal was slated to cost him $135 million over 19 years, according to Bloomberg. Though the deal has been called off since FTX filed for bankruptcy, FTX is still required to pay three years' worth of contract fees for a total of $16.5 million, according to Coindesk. SBF also spent about $30 million airing an ad in the 2022 Super Bowl featuring comedian Larry David, according to Bloomberg. Through FTX, SBF has also forged deals with major basketball teams like the Washington Wizards and Golden State Warriors. FTX also made deals with athletes like basketball player Steph Curry and quarterback Tom Brady. FTX has also signed a $17.5 million deal with UC Berkeley to sponsor its athletic department. There you have it. In this video, we discussed how rich Sam Bankman-Fried is and also took a look at his current financial status. Let us know what intrigued you the most in the comments section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, we have similar videos for you on the screen. You can click on one to watch. Bye!